And when you're dealing with a, a criminal arrest or conviction, um, you have to be very careful in terms of how you navigate either the criminal or immigration field. How does immigration law intersect with other fields of law, and how can attorneys work together to give clients the best representation possible? We're going to talk to New York attorney Corey Foreman about that on today's episode of Ask the Lawyer. Corey, thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me, Tom. You know, there are a lot of great immigration attorneys in New York City and, and legal aid clinics that assist non-citizens with complicated paperwork. However, do all immigration attorneys handle cases involving criminal charges? No. And actually, I'm glad you bring that up because there's only a few of us really around the country that have that specialized knowledge. Um, and it's very important to have both me. I was Before I was an immigration attorney, I was a criminal attorney. And part of my motivation to get into immigration um, was having that specialized knowledge. So um, there are many immigration lawyers, and like you said, some excellent ones, but they just don't feel comfortable taking on the cases that have that criminal component, and vice versa for that. You know, same thing with criminal attorneys who don't feel uh, comfortable representing non-citizens or ha don't have that unique knowledge of immigration. Have you seen situations where immigration attorneys, even if they're really good ones, um, have had problems seeing where immigration law intersects with criminal law? Yeah, it's a very complex area of law. Um, so in a lot of times, immigration attorneys will contact us to bring us a, a, along on a case because we do have that specialized knowledge. Um, when you're dealing with a, a criminal arrest or conviction, um, you have to be very careful in terms of how you navigate either the criminal or immigration field because um, it's, a, it's a whole area of law that really requires specialized knowledge in what we call crimigration. Well, let's talk about that. What, what are some of the consequences that can occur when there's mistakes made in, in some of those cases? Well, for instance, you know, uh, what seemed what is a very minor offense in the criminal system could have significant consequences in the immigration. The, the example I use is a marijuana violation, especially in a time where it's being decriminalized across the states. It is still a federal uh, criminal offense and a federal controlled substance offense. So if someone pleads guilty to, you know, a marijuana violation and they pay a fine. They could be, even lawful permanent residents could be subject to severe immigration consequences of that. And a lot of uh, criminal or immigration attorneys wouldn't know that unless they practice in those areas. Um, even, you know, more serious but still relatively light cases like assault, you know, misdemeanor assault cases. Again, in the criminal system, you could walk away with a fine and some community service, but they could have devastating life altering consequences for uh, non citizens, including lawful permanent residents. So, how can. Uh attorneys like you protect yourself and your clients when, when the client's facing both, you know, criminal charges and immigration charges? Well, for us, you know, we're fortunate, Cohen, Foreman, Barone, because we have in-house, we handle both. So we have a knowledge of, uh, in-depth knowledge in the criminal and the immigration fields. Um, if, you're, if there's a firm that doesn't handle both, it's always a good idea to bring on a criminal attorney if it involves an immigration removal proceeding or if it's a non-citizen that's worried about a criminal case and how it's going to affect their future immigration and vice versa. If you're um, representing you know, a criminal defendant who is a non-citizen and you want to be careful to protect that immigration status, you should bring on an immigration attorney to consult. Again, at Cohen and Foreman Marone, we're fortunate that we have knowledge in both those areas and we have teams of lawyers in both those areas so and who can handle both aspects. So you just talked about why you're unique, but can other immigration attorneys come to you if they have questions about their cases? Oh, of course, and they often do, especially uh, here in New York. Um, we have a reputation of being one of the, the top immigration law firms. So we work with a lot of immigration attorneys in helping them analyze criminal statutes, working on plea bargain deals that will protect their clients working on allocutions during pleas. And again, we work with a, you know, a lot of uh, immigration attorneys in terms of advising them you know, what the consequences of a criminal conviction or arrest are. Well, Corey, nice job. Always great to talk to you. We appreciate you joining us today. Great to be back. Thanks for everything, Tom. So that's going to do it for this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest has been Corey Foreman. If you'd like to ask Corey questions about your situation, call the number on this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Mustin for Ask the Lawyers.